General Hospital, the real soap dish, continues. If you're checking in here at the Metro Court Hotel in Port Charles anytime soon, whether for business or pleasure, we thought you might need a visitor's guide to help you navigate your way around town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Port Charles, New York. Hope you all have a good time. Hope you find what you're looking for in Port Charles. As a city, expect the unexpected. <laughs> When packing for your trip to Port Charles, bring clothes for every conceivable type of weather. It has mountains very close by, you can ski. And it has palm trees, and it looks like California. <laughs> Shut up! And don't forget a parka. What about that weather machine? There's always a slight chance that a crazy man will try to freeze the entire city. I have decided to lower the temperature in Port Charles to 40 below zero. There is only one full-service hotel in Port Charles. The Metro Court is where it all goes down, the good, bad, and the ugly. And I mean full service. And it's my hotel. I fight and scream and yell and make out in the middle of my hotel, and I'm like, I am the worst hotel owner. <laughs> oh, yes, a few years back, the entire town was taken hostage here by a madman. No, it's not the Holiday Inn. Looking for a place to grab a meal or meet some of the locals? These are counterfeit. What? Stop by Kelly's. It's the meeting place. Do you want to have a romantic lunch? Something to be said and taking things slowly, right? Serious sit down. The side effects can include irritability. I am not irritable. Or if you're doing a little trafficking. There's something I need you to do. Or try the floating rib. The floating rib is a seedy bar with a pool table where people sometimes take their clothes off. They sometimes have sex on the pool table. There will invariably be a fight or uh, someone hurling something at someone else. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! One cautionary tip when driving from one hot spot to another, be extremely careful. People in Port Charles are terrible drivers. I've had three hit and runs. <laughs> One, I just ran, you know, ran right over the body and kept going. And they never even took my license. If you're unlucky on the roads, though, don't worry. At General Hospital, you'll receive downright miraculous care. Doctor! Something's wrong. He's afraid that my brain is short-circuiting. It's pretty amazing the things that kind of come into that table and how within a couple days, they're just kind of back at it. What we're looking at is an acute case of embarrassment. Just be aware, there's a good chance you may run into gunshot victims while you're at General Hospital. Not to get serious about gun control, but the first place they should start would be Port Charles, because everybody either has a gun, has access to a gun, finds a gun, or knows how to shoot a gun. I've been shot. I've been held at gunpoint. I got shot in the back. How many times have my boyfriends been shot or stabbed? I have lost track. I shot myself in the foot once. Wear a bulletproof vest. The best way to stay safe during your visit? Don't go down to the docks. Certainly not after dark, anyway. No one goes there to, like, look at the view. <laughs> it's a place for serious conversations. You shouldn't have interfered. In gunfights. Just, just shut up and march out. Perhaps you're just in town to attend a wedding. Don't get married in poor Charles. Get this done, because I would like to have a damn drink already. More often than not, weddings are crashed by scorned ex-lovers. No, 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 you know what? I object. Stunning confessions. You slapped with him? And sometimes, yes, you guessed it, gunshots. The weddings that actually do take place don't always last very long. Once you get married, you know pretty much that around the corner, there's going to be a breakup. I think I've made it six months married once. <laughs> you need to do your part and breathe. If you're an expectant mother, you should know that women here are prone to going into labor push. at the most unexpected times, in elevators. Don't push. Don't push. During train wrecks. You're almost there. I think I see the head. <laughs> This poor mom was even shot when she went into labor. Be sure to keep a close eye on your children in Port Charles. This isn't my baby. Babies have a tendency to go missing. What's wrong? 
I mean, what would you have to do? Have a home birth. I'm gonna do an episiotomy now, but oh no. Oh! And then get a pair of handcuffs and keep her strapped to you for a while. And children grow up very quickly here. She's 15 and she was gonna have sex with that boy in her bedroom? Thanks to a unique condition known as Soros. Soap opera rapid aging syndrome is a syndrome that affects only soap opera children. That happened with Maxie, I remember. One weekend, she aged, like, six years. They're, like, you know, nursing and, and changing diapers, and all of a sudden, they're like... Whoa. The hell did that happen? That's it. Dominican Republic, here I come. The hardest thing to do in Port Charles is leave. Ah! This is awful. And that's why hardly anyone ever does. Next, Luke and Laura, their first reunion in five years. 30 million people. Why do you think so many people watched your wedding? It was the moment everyone was waiting for. Plus, all your other favorite super duos. Who do you think was the best match for Sonny? Oh, man. Coming up.